What's up guys? So today we're gonna bring you a video about my current USPSA gun, or at least what I'm gonna be running tomorrow. And I was gonna switch up, but then I decided I didn't have any time, I've been reviewing guns, and I didn't have any time to like vet anything. And uh, this wasn't running the best uh, last year in my left hand, so I decided to change up the recoil spring a little bit for the five inch. And I actually went with a Glock recoil spring because I didn't have anything. So we're kind of testing that today and just kind of dicking around with everything and make sure it all works. And we're just gonna be shooting it tonight, looking for function, looking for zero, and then just kind of playing around with the belt system that I put together for this match. Uh, because I only have a couple belts, I should really buy more, but I keep putting belts on and off. And I'm running some Mars carriers here with some Taylor Freelance uh, base plates. And then my backup mag pouches, actually for a two gun belt, this is my two gun belt. And this is generally for my Glock mag, uh, for my carbine. But it'll also take, since it's a, a universal, it'll also take a PDP mag. And then for a holster, I'm running this just abysmal eBay holster that I got last year. I have a Red Hill Tactical holster coming, but uh, it's not here yet. So we're gonna be running this shit show, but it's on a boss hanger. It should hold. Uh, it wasn't meant for the boss hanger, but I like the boss hanger. So I drilled a hole in it and I put a screw in it. <laughs> and uh, it's holding up so far. It's a little rigid, but I'm not gonna be doing any two gun stuff today where the gun could fly out of the holster. Anything I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna already have my gun on, or my hand on the gun before I'm gonna be moving. So I don't have to worry about that. The mag pouches are slick. I like this Mars carrier setup, especially for two gun because it's so tight to my body that and they don't come out very easy. Like I have adjustable mag pouches that are easier to draw from, but these are like slick and they feel good and they're light. So it's pretty easy to uh, reload from the belt with these because it's like right in front of your body. So that's kind of nice. And this is actually where my mag pouch used to be, or my primary. In USPSA now you can move them all forward even in production or carry. So go pretty fast with that one too. And usually for like local matches, you only need two reloads. If not, you can just put one in your pocket. I'm fast with that, so I reload all the time anyway. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be running this shit show and hopefully it's gonna work. And I figured I'd do a video about it because I haven't, I don't even know if I've done a first shot to so the five inch or a thousand round review, but I have like thousands of rounds for this now. So this is what I'm gonna be running. We put the dynamic trigger in it since last time. I put some silicone carbide on it since last time and run the same SRO. We're just tweaking it out a little bit and just playing the game and just trying to have fun, trying to make it a little bit faster. So all you're gonna be doing today, or all we're gonna be doing today is just shooting in here and we'll be doing some mag changes, some movement stuff, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Take a look at the group, just zeroing. Not bad, I have to go left. few more in there those are all right on so there's one way high I don't know if I'm sticking around the trigger Obviously where my group is, 15 yards, that's it. That's me, and that's me, that was my first group, and this is my second group. So elevation looks good, maybe just a creep right. kind of fast groups because I'm gonna be action shooting. So I wanna like feel where the gun's gonna be in motion. Mm. 
no lock back on the mag, which sucks. That means my little Mark III conversion is not gonna do as well as I hope. A lot of recoil. No lockback at all in any of the mags. Did it lock back? It's my grip. I'm using oh. a 2011 grip. Oh. Lock back? Yes, ma'am.